and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite desserts called clafouti. Clafouti is basically a French cake that has a custard-like texture and is mixed with fruits. I've already showed you how to make cherry clafouti. Yum! Click on this link to watch the video. And today we're going to make it with fresh figs and almonds. In Korea, figs are in season, so I'm very lucky, love figs, I got lots of fresh figs. But if you can't find fresh figs where you live, you can replace them with any soft fruit. For example, pears, peaches, blueberries, raspberries, whatever uh, soft fruit that you can find and you like, you can put it in this recipe and it would be perfect. Of course, it's a super easy recipe that you will keep making over and over and over again. So let's start! The first step is to mix the eggs with the sugar. So break your eggs and put them in a large bowl. Add the sugar and beat them for a minute. Add the vanilla extract, mix it in. Then add the melted butter, mix it in as well. Sift the flour and add it to the egg mixture. And finally, add almond powder. Almond powder is my secret ingredient in this recipe because it makes the clafouti very soft. If you don't have it, just add flour instead. But it's very easy to make. You can just take raw almonds, you know, put them in boiling water, remove their skin, dry them, and then uh, mix them in a food processor. Or you can even mix raw almonds with their skin. And that's it, we add it. And then using a spatula, just mix in all the ingredients. Once the flour is mixed in, we're going to add the milk. As you can see, our mixture is really smooth. It's like a crepe mixture um, because that's what's going to give this very soft and uh, pudding-like texture to our clafouti. So this is perfect. For the figs, I'm just going to quarter them. So these are my fresh figs. Take the tip, because you know, it's hard, and then just cut them in half and then quarters, like this. Nothing fancy, no need to have knife skills. Simple fruit cut. Also, don't forget to add a pinch of salt at the end. As I always say, a little bit of salt really brings up the sweetness of our cakes, so it's important. And that's it, we're ready. This was a really, really easy recipe. So here I'm using cassuelas, which are basically uh, clay plates, because I think it's earthy and beautiful and it gives an individual portion. However, you could use like a cake pan, whatever you want. Just take a little bit of butter and butter your cassuelas, like that. You can also use a uh, creme brulee uh, plates. They're, they look like the cassuelas. Place a couple of pieces of the figs in the cassuelas. Well, more than a couple. You really want to have lots of figs in there. Gently pour some of the mixture around and on top of the figs. Now, my special touch, I'm going to add sliced almonds. These are raw almonds that are sliced on top like this. Yum! This will give it crunchiness, which is perfect because the cake is soft and the top layer will be crunchy. And finally, sprinkle a little bit of sugar just to have a crispy crust. That's it! Let's bake them in the oven. Of course, you already preheated your oven to uh, 200 Celsius degrees, which is 400 Fahrenheit degrees. And we, all we have to do right now is put them in there and we'll eat them afterwards. I'll eat them afterwards. The clafouti is ready. As you can see here, it's baked to the top. It has a beautiful uh, golden brown color. That's what you're looking for. I baked them for around 40 to 45 minutes, depending on your oven. And that's it. Now they're really, really hot, so I can't eat them. I have to wait for them to cool down. You usually serve clafouti warm. 
with vanilla ice cream if you want. I don't have ice cream so I'll eat them with that. But I have to wait. So I patiently wait until I taste them for you. Time to taste this beauty. Look at these figs and look how moist this this like dough is and the crispy crust and the almond. I'm gonna take a big bite of everything. So here I have the crust, the almonds. Yummy. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. The figs just melt in your mouth. The dough is just there to support the flavors of the figs. It's not overpowering the flavors of the figs. And then you have a little bit of crunchiness of the almonds. Yummy! This deserves another bite. Yum! Look at this. Mmm! I wish I had vanilla ice cream. Mmm! This would have been perfect. Wow, I can eat this in like three seconds. Anyway, I hope you liked it. Try it out and let me know. All the ingredients and the written recipe are in the about section below the video. And see you next time. Bon appétit!